Uh, I am adopted, and uh, in 2008 I met and befriended my birth mom, um, but only recently did I find my birth father. Do you remember the book, Are You My Mother, where the little bird would fly around and ask, Are you my mother? That was me on Facebook in the last couple months, only I was looking for guys named Rocky from Tacoma, Washington. <laughs> So on Facebook, you have to be friends with a person in order to send them a uh, message, otherwise it goes to the dreaded other inbox, aka the swamp of sadness. <laughs> so I did what any industrious little bird would do and sent a friend request to two potential fathers. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so uh, I, yeah, I sent these friend requests and then I was uh, vying on it being one of the guys because one of the guys uh, had like a million food pictures. I was like, ah, oh, might be this guy. And uh, fried food, cheese, coffee, I was like, maybe. And I got, <laughs> I got uh, the confirmation when he accepted my friend request, which was, which was nice. So, yes, you're my father, Rocky. Uh, and, of course, I tweeted about it, because I'm a bird! <laughs> and um, so I have other great news that has happened recently. Um, I uh, was hired at a startup after working for too long at a put-down. <laughs> and um, so this company uh, that I started at is wonderful, they have great benefits. Um, so there's free dog snuggles every day. <laughs> Uh, so there's catered breakfast, um, and then my personal uh, favorite benefit is uh, the no tear quota to eat. I don't have to do that anymore. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's just it's just fantastic working, you know, a day job where I actually feel valued and, and happy. Um, because on nights I am uh, nights and weekends I am an artist, so I go, uh, you know, I. Uh, I like to surround myself with lots of creative, artistic types, um, and I've got, uh, much like a Pokemon collector uh, collects Pokemon, <laughs> I collect friends. <laughs> so I've got a uh, pinball machine repair person, a flutist, city councilwoman, I got them in my Pokedex. <laughs> And when I meet uh, when I meet a new person, you know, you do the initial kind of scroll through, and it's C2E2, aka Bird uh, Woodstock. Uh, I made a new friend, and I uh, was looking through his, you know, his wall, scrolling, and scrolling, and scrolling, and then I was like, oh my god, I'm such a weirdo. Um, I had liked a photo from 2014. <laughs> And then I had uh, liked a, a puppet that he had made in, like, high school. <laughs> and then I got to his very first post, <laughs> which was him with the childlike empress from NeverEnding Story, <laughs> holding the entire universe in a single grain of sand. <laughs> and I liked it. <laughs> and then I was like, Oh God, um, yeah, I, uh, uh, yeah, so I liked this photo, and then, <laughs> and then I was, uh, I realized that, um, I'm sorry, um, I, <laughs> oh my God, I am so sorry, guys, this is, yeah, I, I like uh, recovery. Um, <laughs> photo of him, uh, and then um, I realized how much I disliked myself. <laughs> so, um, uh, but lucky for me, I had my identity stolen shortly thereafter. <laughs> so I didn't have to think about that for long. And these, these, uh, the people who stole my identity uh, spent $633 at Dick's Sporting Goods. <laughs> I mean, come on. If you're going to steal my identity. It's not even that they stole my identity, but come on, you went to Dick's Sporting Goods. Because goods, it's more like bads. Like, you, you know, if it was my money, you know, hot air balloon rides, getting Channing Tatum's face commissioned, you know, into a cheese curd sculpture. You know, like, it's a real, real absurd shit. Instead, um, yeah, so, and, uh, and also, you know, you could have bought Donald Trump a wig made of the finest jackass hair. Yeah. Could have, you could have spent my money there. Um, but instead, these guys, you know, just 
wasted my money. These dicks! <laughs> but speaking of dicks, <laughs> for Christmas, I got exactly what I wanted from Santa. <laughs> The best wrong number sext imaginable. <laughs> Roger, quit fucking around and get that dick ready. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Took me a while to recover. Uh, I responded with a uh, spotted dick pic. <laughs> In case you are not an Anglophile or a foodie, uh, spotted dick is a British pudding that precisely no one would want to put in their mouth. <laughs> so getting that photo, the response to this photo was all the better. Um, yes, I'ma chew that dick like a, ch like a cake, you chocolate beast. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I just wanted to put it out there because you know this will probably be on the internet at some point. Um, Roger, I am so sorry about your dick if it got you off. <laughs> Um, and um, so, because I am adopted, um, it was very important for me um, to adopt my own child. Um, so four years ago, uh, I, you know, went through the process of adopting uh, a daughter, uh, Tilda. And she, is, she is wonderful. Thank you. She's wonderful. And um, I knew what we were getting into. That it was it was going to be a handful. Um, you know, when they told us uh, that at an adoption event, uh, she had climbed onto a table and eaten an entire cheese pizza. <laughs> so I knew, I knew, you know, she'd, she'd be a handful. Um, she is on Prozac for her behavioral issues. Uh, yeah, and so it's still, you know, once in a while though the drugs don't work, and um, so I was sitting on the couch last month um, eating a slice of cheese pizza, because she had already had her dinner, and I was, you know, it was late, I was eating a uh, piece of cheese pizza, and then I looked away for a split second, and I looked down at my empty hand, and she had stolen the pizza right out of, right out of my hand, just like a Garfield comic. I mean, but the thing is, Tilda uh, likes, uh, likes lasagna way less than Tilda likes pizza. So that's, yeah, it's just very strange. Um, and, and then when, um, yeah, I like to imagine this great scenario of like one day when I sit down and break bread with my birth father, you know, just the three generations, uh, my Rocky, myself, and then my daughter Tilda, um, sitting down over, you know, a nice cheese pizza, because that's how we do, <laughs> and uh, just having this really nice connection, having a nice moment, because, you know, he's missed like 30 plus years of my life, and it's like, oh, this is so nice, so heart, you know, heart-wrenching, uh, and then, you know, connecting at that same moment and realizing that Tilda has stolen the pizza, right? <laughs> Um, and it's it's just so amazing that this little dog can put away <laughs> I, I just can't believe it. But you just can't.